Hi guys, Dr. Lavin. So today we'll be kicking off our first episode on our big series on tiredness. Now the condition we're going to be talking about today is hypothyroidism. Now it's really important to understand what the thyroid is and how it affects the body. So the thyroid is a gland that sits like a butterfly in the front of our neck. It actually comes from the Greek meaning armour. Now what's really important about the thyroid is it has such a profound impact on our whole body, namely because it affects metabolism and the way cells and energy is used in the body. So a really good way of understanding what the thyroid does and how it functions is when I speak to my patients, I tell them the actual organ is like a battery. So just imagine a battery with a very, very low charge and a battery with a high charge. That low charge is what we consider known as hypothyroidism. And the one where you have a very high charge, we say hyperthyroidism. So in hypothyroidism, think about the body, very, very low charge. So obviously we're gonna get that tiredness. But what's interesting is it does affect other parts of the body. So things like the bowels, so you get very, very sluggish, slow bowels, therefore causing constipation. You get weight gain as you get more bloated, you get fluid build up. And as a result, this adds to that weight. The skin gets very dry, the hair gets very coarse, and even the mind, you can imagine the brain almost having like a brain fog leading to confusion and tiredness. So you can see how by having this low charge in the body, it can have a large effect on our body. So similarly, if you apply that principle in hyperthyroidism, so very high charge, you can imagine the eyes very, very bright, very anxious, the heart rate kicking off very fast, sweating, and actually losing weight, as well as developing things like diarrhea, just because of the way the metabolism is working so fast. I really find in terms of thyroid, we can really do a lot for our patients. So those who have hypothyroidism, it is very, very common, especially in females. And what I have found is actually when we give these hypothyroid medications known as levothyroxine, or thyroxine, the replacement for this hormone, you tend to find a huge impact on these patients and they're so, so grateful. What I have found that's interesting with our patients is sometimes as doctors, we do focus quite heavily on blood tests. And we've had times where over years and years, we've had some of our patients who've just been on that border of thyroid or may not even be showing it quite clearly. However, symptomatically, they really show some of the symptoms. So I had a case recently with a, a, an elderly lady in her 60s who'd actually had the typical symptoms of a slow heart rate, gaining large amounts of weight, very, very tired, describing that brain fog. So typically in a, in a textbook way, saying she has hypothyroidism. For many years, we'd actually seen that our blood tests were on the border but weren't showing huge, obvious signs of hypothyroidism on that blood test. What's interesting is we gave a small trial or short course of this levothyroxine or thyroid hormone and the dramatic impact it's made on our life and she's so, so grateful for it now. So it's really important as clinicians that we actually look at this and not only treat the blood test but treat the patient itself and therefore looking at that patient thinking could this be thyroid and therefore replacing their body with it. So to end our topic on hypothyroidism today and our series on tiredness, remember when you are feeling tired, if you can link it to other symptoms as well, and in this case, almost like a low charge battery where there's a weight gain, feeling constipated, brain fog, and the tiredness associated with it. If you can link those together, do ask your primary care clinician about whether a blood test for thyroid disease would be worth having. Thank you very much. Thank you.